It's a brand new program, so um, it's very exciting. Um, it's a pre-vocational program for individuals with special needs, adults with special needs, and um, it's called the Career Discovery Experience Program. And so through this program, we do some soft skills training, so we learn about communication, teamwork, professionalism, um, those kinds of things. And in the afternoon, we do some volunteer work. Um, and then the hope is that over the course of this program, they'll get involved with vocational rehabilitation, which will help them to get a job coach, which will help them to ultimately find a community job, Will they'll be paid minimum wage or higher for working out in the community. So the program was developed before I started working there in December, um, but I was hired as the first career discovery experience facilitator. Okay. Um, the program started the last week of January and was originally supposed to only be 12 weeks. Um, we found that after the 12 weeks, we weren't exactly as far as we wanted to be. And we decided that we wanted the folks to just keep being in the program um, instead of sending them back to the sheltered workshop where they were getting paid way less than minimum wage. Um, so we decided that we'll, we'll keep it going. It's a brand new program, so we kind of got to roll with the punches. Um, so we're going to keep them in the program until they get a job out in the community so that it's a stepping stone from the sheltered workshop into a community job. We come to Gleaners every Monday uh, from noon to two, and uh, this is what we do. We make the boxes, and they love it. Through volunteering, it's really important for us to volunteer. Um, first of all, it looks really good on their resumes. Um, second of all, it gives them a, an opportunity to use those soft skills that we've been talking about in the classroom out in the community. You know, Now we're with other people in the community. We're not just with each other. So it's how do we talk to these people out in the community? What's a professional way to greet one another, um, what kind of topics are appropriate to talk about in the community and, and not so appropriate. Um, and so they get to, they learn those skills in the classroom, but then in the community they get to utilize them and really practice them um, and get an idea that, okay, it's not just what we're learning in the classroom, it's really putting it into what's, what fits and what works in the community. And working at Gleaners, it's a really great opportunity for them. They know how important food is, we know how important food is, and we really love to make make a little bit of a difference you know I know that they're they're only making boxes and sometimes they're like we want to do something else but they know the importance of making those boxes for the back stacks and and so that kids have food when they go home and, and we make it into a competition and we see how many we can do and we have a record that we try to break and and so it's a, it's a good team building and, it, and it's just great to give back you know that they love it we love it. It's, it's a great, great bond. And I'm a, I'm a big Mother Teresa fan. Do small things with great love. And, you know, just coming here two hours every week and just making these boxes and just knowing that, you know, we're helping so many people. You know, we don't get to see how we're helping them, but we know that we're helping them. And, and you know, just to see their, their attitude afterwards and how good they feel about it, too. It just, it's so rewarding. It's such a rewarding feeling to bring them here. and. And, and do this with gleaners.